Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to EHEF Indonesia 2020 goes online. My name is Harris. I'm, I'm going to be moderating this webinar. This webinar is going to be presented by Ms. Afalai from TRIA School for Business and Society. Please stay tuned until the end of this webinar because we will hold question and answer session. If you have any questions regarding to the presentation, or country higher education, please submit your questions in YouTube's comment section anytime throughout the presentation. Now, without any further ado, please welcome Ms. Avalai for your presentation. Time is yours. Yeah. Thank you, Harry. Uh, let me firstly share my screen to, uh, with you, all of you. Is that uh, okay? Clear? I hope everyone can see my screen right now. Yes. So, uh, Hello everyone, this is Avalai. Depends on the pronunciation, you can also call me like Ava or Ava. Yeah, this is uh, Ava from Program Advisor. Uh, I also graduated from TIAS MSCBA uh, in 2015, so I'm also alumna. So today I'm going to share information about our MBA and MSCBA and also share my own experience with you, why I choose Netflix, why I choose TIAS. So, uh, that started. So uh, most of you probably already heard about uh, a few reasons why you choose Netherlands for your further study, no matter if it's uh, for your master or for your PhD or your bachelor. Yeah. So uh, I'm here listing the uh, three the main reasons for you why you need why you choose um, Netherlands Belanda for your study. First of all. English is widely spoken. So those people, they can speak English very well. It's almost like a native speaker for them. So I once traveled to the a countryside by myself when I studied there. So I got lost at that time. So I talked to one grandma just um, around the road. So she can perfectly uh, speak in English and then to guide me to the station. So I think for this reason, you should think about uh, to go study in the Netherlands. So the second reason here is the uh, orientation year visa. That's uh, we also call third year visa. So this kind of visa you can get um, after you graduate from the Dutch Higher Educational Institute. So after you graduate from your master's degree, you can stay in the Netherlands for one year. So uh, with that or with doing a job. So um, that's very convenient for our graduates to find a, a job there with this kind of visa. The third reason uh, why here is a very high quality education. So uh, those people, they are very innovative and they are very uh, willing to share their knowledge. So uh, with this all reason, so it comes to the high quality of education. So here uh, today, I'm here about uh, to share the program. So from my per, uh, opinion, it's not a destination for you. It will be a beginning for your journey to start your career or your life in Netherlands. It's the journey that uh, you're going through uh, in, the, in the following years. So that's the starting point, not the destination for you. So comes to the next topic. Why TS? From my own experience, yes, uh, at TS we attend and we intend to keep the classes very small, and we pay a lot of personal attention to each individual students. So you are not just the number; you are you are you. We will know about your name, your preference, and also what's your um, expertise. So you will get lots of personal attention here. And it's very international environment. Uh, we have like uh, more than 20 nationalities in one class. So, and then we will divide uh, very equally to uh, about for the study groups. So it's very international. You will learn lots of cultures there. You need to deal with the cultural shock. I think that's quite important for all of us to learn uh, that part. And the second one is for TIAS. We welcome students from different backgrounds, no matter if it's business or you're not business background. Uh, you don't need to take the, the traditional pre-master if you're not the, you, if you're not business background. So 
For most of the uh, higher education for the master program, they probably will ask you to take one year pre-master if you are not from business background. So that's not to us. We provide a very short uh, preparatory courses, like only three weeks for you, and then you will quickly uh, start the program very quick officially. So uh, now business background required, required here. And then the first one is, it's perfect combination for the theory and practical knowledge. It comes to the fifth one. So our graduates, they can move into the job market very quickly through the guidance from our career consultant and also the personal coach. That's uh, the personal development and the networking part uh, at TIAS is uh, really the strongest point here. And comes to, the, comes to the sixth one, the quality and accreditation here. So I will introduce more about the ranking and accreditation here. So according to the latest in updates, uh, I think that's published in last month from Financial Times, TS Business School, we rank like top, top 15 worldwide and it's number one in the Netherlands. And then also in last month, we partic we uh, also been ranked uh, for our MBA, it ranks like a top 80 worldwide. So last year uh, we ranked us 110 and this year we come to the 80. So we comes to, we go up like more than 30 uh, during one year. So uh, it's very strong MBA program um, worldwide. And for our MSCBA, it's or better, uh, we rank like 57 worldwide, according to Financial Times also published in last month. So um, today we're going to introduce more about the MSCBA and MBA program in details. Uh, before that, uh, you can see the building behind me, that's uh, our campus, our Utrecht building, the uh, campus building in Utrecht. Um, both for our MSCBA and MBA program located in Utrecht. That's the really center of Netherlands. So very convenient, just 20, 20 minutes by train to Amsterdam or like uh, to Rotterdam as well. Very quick, uh, direct train. You don't need to take any transfer. So really convenient. And Utrecht oh, is also the fourth biggest city in the Netherlands. Uh, a very good uh, and very friendly environment for international students or for expats. So this is TIA's building. About our uh, MSCBA program, it's only one year starting from September. But before that, as I mentioned, for those who don't uh, study for business before, they probably need to take preparatory courses if required. Maxima, there are four modules, four subjects here. So we only spend like a three weeks in late of August every year. And then uh, for those who doesn't, uh, for those who doesn't have business background and the programs officially start in September from the foundation courses here. Next year, the starting date is 9th of September. And here you are going to take uh, accounting, finance, economies, supply chain, marketing, and also some basic IT and organization behavior here. So after the foundation, you can choose uh, the next stage is the specialization from January to March, 2022. You can choose your specialization fi from five tracks, marketing, financial management, or change management or investment management or business analytics. So you're going to spend three months to focus on your specialization. And after that, you're going to come back to sit in the classroom together with all your classmates and to take a strategic management and also cooperate social uh, responsibility and ethics. And also uh, one elective. The most important thing is uh, there's one study trip, one week study trip. Uh, in late, I think it's the last uh, week in May every year. It's one week, either in Portugal or Italy, but that depends. And after that study trip, it's your time to focus on your thesis. That's from September, no, that's from June to end of August. You are going to submit your thesis by end of August. So after that, after your thesis, 
if you find any internship, you can do that. Otherwise, the, the graduation ceremony will be in December. So that's about our, that's the timeline for our MSCBA program. About the, our MBA program is much more uh, smaller, only like 35 students per year per class. We only have one MBA class every year. Really small, um, really small class. So in MBA, there's no specialization. It's more about general management. So the program also starts in September. And the first, uh, the first stage is to learn the business fundamentals. And the second one uh, from November to December, it's no more about the context of business. And the next one from January to February, it's about the internal options and move to the, the fourth part. It's about more about the long-term value creation here. And for MBA, you're also going to do the electives here. And for MBA, uh, for MBA students, you don't need to write the academic thesis. What you need to do is team business project. So from May to June, you are going to work together very closely with your uh, study group or your teammate. You probably need to go to uh, the company to quite often, like once or twice or even three times per week, and then to do your business project. And then you are going to do the, you are going to submit the project report to TS, then you can graduate in this, uh, no, yeah, December 2022. So that's the timeline. So for MBA, it's more about um, managerial man, man, level. So more about general management, no specialization here. So the strongly, uh, strongest point for both our MBA and MSCBA, I think, I think, also from my own personal experience is the career development. We call it here PLCD or PCDB. There are three parts. One, the first one is individual coaching. So every student can have a very high quality one-on-one -on -one conversation with their personal coach or career consultant. So for personal coach is um, we cooperate with a third party consulting firm. So they are very professional. Uh, they will guide you uh, step by step. For example, uh, what you're good at, what's your weakness, how to improve that, and what kind of business culture you might uh, might more suitable for you. So something like that. For the career consultant, it's more like um, uh, they can help you to modify your resume really, really uh, in detail and help you to have like a mock uh, interview. So. Uh, from the support, uh, both from personal coach and career consultant, it's very uh, helpful for our graduate or our students. And the second one is small group workshop. So there will be lots of uh, workshop here during the whole year. From the beginning is uh, resume or CV, and the next one is cover later, also called uh, motivation later. And the third one is interview or um, the next one, also the business culture. I think it's quite important to know more about the, the local culture there if you want to find a job, like how you shake your head and then how you do the follow-up email, something like that. And for those, you can learn from our workshops during the whole year. And the third one, TIAS will host company day. It's like a campus recruitment day. Uh, it's only exclusive for our MBA or MSCBA students. And through that uh, TS company day, uh, most of our students can find a job within three months of graduation. So I think that's very, um, very positive to show that we can help our students to go through the market very quickly. So about individual coaching, I explained a little bit uh, previously. So you will need to know who you are and what's your talent and how are you going to get a job? Is that suitable for you or not? So some of our students might find out that they are not really, um, really like the culture for the big or international enterprise. Somehow they probably prefer the small or medium Inter enterprises after their coaching. So then the next step is uh, very important is what 
career or what kind of job that you want to take? How can you um, combine the talent, uh, your own talent, and then to find a job that you want to have? Or how do you, how are you going to uh, develop the talent or to to practice more for the skill than to achieve, to get the job that you want? So those are things that you will get from the individual coaching for both uh, MSCBA and MBA program. So it comes to the career outcomes. Uh, we have quite a very good um, numbers or the result for our TS graduate. For example, um, here is the local news here, the left figures. We rank like number 10, the best uh, popular uh, graduate for, for employers, for the companies. And the right hand side is all the companies that our graduate uh, work for. For example, uh, quite a lot, uh, quite a lot consulting for Accenture, KPMG, Deloitte, McKinsey Company, as as well, and or Handgun or Nike or Unilever, TNT, Tesla. So our graduate they get pretty good job um, after they graduate. So that's our strongest point. So we can look into the um, some statistic in detail. So this is the uh, numbers for our MSCBA graduates from I think it's from 2017 class. So um, more about 75% 70, of them they study they stay in the Netherlands after graduate. And here the left the left corner. A lower corner here shows like 31% uh, of them, they do the traineeship after they graduate. And 31% they stay in the finance or banking industry. So that's the statistic for the whole class uh, for our MBA, MSCBA. But if we look into the only the Asian ABA, MSCBA, how they do the, how are they doing? after they graduate. So here is the statistic, 83% of them, uh, they got a job within three months and 92% of them, they stay in the neglect. So it's really strong um, advantage, I think, to have that kind of orientation visa. And then together with the knowledge and also the skills, uh, skill set together, and then to find a job in the Netherlands and then to start your journey there. So it's about the graduation, about the content of the, our programs and also how our graduate doing basically. So for you, you so for, for most of you, you would like to start your application. Here's the admission requirement for TS, MSCBA and for MBA. We request for the English, English test either else or TOEFL IBT for else you need to get a overall band 6.5 for TOEFL IBT you need to have 90 so that's applicable that's um, the minimum requirement for both MBA and MSCBA and for the education no, uh, education background for both programs that uh, as long as you graduate from your bachelor degree in any fields welcome to TS as I mentioned, TS welcomes students from the, um, different background, no matter if business or non-business. So there is a difference between between MBA and MSCBA. That's the work experience. So I mentioned that MBA is more about general manager level. So here you need to have at least three years of work experience. The average for MBA class uh, is seven years, but uh, our admission board will depend will evaluate your profile and your work experience and to decide the admission. But for MSCBA, that's um, our MSCBA is designed for fresh graduate or young professionals whose work experience is around uh, two years. So for here, you don't really need to have uh, any work experience, not re required, but it would be a plus if you have like a one or two years uh, work experience. And the last one, uh, GMAT. For most of business school, you will be asked to have a GMAT. And this year, for both MBA and MSCBA program, we offer our own TS capacity test. 
uh, to replace GMAT. So for TS capacity test is free, it's totally free after you submit your online application form. And you can also take the test in Bahasa Indonesia, your mother tongue. So that's the second um, the um, second advantage for you to choose TS capacity instead of GMAT. So I will highly suggest that everyone can use this one as a starting point to start your online application at TS. So that's the admission requirement following up with the application process. So I would suggest that uh, we can have one-on-one -one conversation or to have a quick CV assessment with, yeah, with me, program advisor at TS. And the second one is you need to start your online application form. So that's including the scholarship AC if you want to apply for scholarship. So the scholarship essay is quite, uh, it's not that hard, just one maximum 1000 words of essay. And we will give you the topic for the scholarship that you want to apply for. You just elaborate a little bit for that. And we have two different, uh, actually we, we're using the, we use the same application form, but just different uh, MBA and MSCBA program. And the third step is um, TS capacity test, or if you have GMAT result already or GRE, that's also fine. You can choose from um, these three. And here, I didn't uh, really mention here is your language test. You need to submit your language test here in your application form or to send to me individually uh, after you submit the application form. And after uh, this all re test result and after you submit the online application form, I will, scan, I will schedule the online interview either through Skype or Zoom. And the admission result will, uh, will be sent to you very quickly within two weeks. So at TS, there is no application deadline. It's always rolling base. So uh, that's also applicable for uh, scholarships. So always first come, first serve for both admission and scholarship. So the most important um, issue or the, the topic for you is the tuition fee. So there are two uh, tuition fees there. Are, uh, the one above is MSCBA. The one uh, lower part is MBA. So let's take uh, MSCBA first. So for MSCBA, you are going to pay the enrollment fee 100 euros when you submit the online application form. And once you, uh, once you receive the unconditional LA, you need to pay the enrollment fee within two weeks if you accept this offer. So the rest of tuition fee, we can have different uh, payment instrument option, no, a few options for different payment instrument, yes. And there is something extra here. So I mentioned that if you're not from business uh, background, you probably need to take a few pre courses, pre preparatory courses. So uh, for September 2021 intake, um, every module costs uh, 400 euros. So there are maximum four modules. So maximum, you need to pay like a 1,600 euros for the for all of the pre-courses fee. That's for MSCBA program. And for our MBA program, that's uh, different. So you need, that's uh, the same for application fee, 100 euros when you submit the application. And also after you receive the unconditional LA, you need to pay the enrollment fee 4,000 euros within two weeks if you accept the offer. Then the rest of tuition fee is 33,400. So the scholarship and the discount, sorry, this one TIA scholarship up to 5,000 available. That's only for the, only for the MSCBA. Sorry, oh, wait a second. And for MBA, that's um, up to 25,000 euros. So if you have any question regarding to the scholarship, please feel free to contact me and then I will uh, share more information with you later on. So uh, this is our class 2014 to 2015. So everyone is doing quite good right now. Okay.
uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, chat. Okay, I think I finished the, the presentation quite early. Harry, can we switch to the QA session earlier? Yes, of course. Thank you very much, uh, for your presentations. We really appreciate that. Yes, right now we are moving on to a question and answer session. There are several questions that we would like to ask. Okay. The first one uh, is regarding a scholarship. Yeah. Is there any uh, scholarship uh, in that? Uh, yeah, if it is available, is it partial uh, scholarship or full uh, scholarship? Or and also, can it uh, combinable with other scholarship from private institution or from government? Uh, for TS, we only offer partial scholarship. So for MSCBA, uh, the average amount for MSCBA uh, scholarship is around like 3,000 3, euros to like 8,000 euros. And it can be up to one, yeah, 10,000 euros for OTS. And for MBA, uh, also partial scholarship as well. So it can be like in the range, the average amount is between 30,000 13, euros to 17,000 euros. And for OTS, it can be up to 25,000 euros. Is it, uh, is it combinable? So for example, uh, one student can get other scholarship from government of Indonesia or government of the Netherlands. So can we combine uh, it? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. Yes, we don't set scholarship. any limit for, for combining any scholarship. For example, uh, you can apply for one of TIA scholarship and you can also apply for StillNet co-founding. Yeah, so we don't uh, set any limits for the other scholarship that you want to combine with. We only provide one scholarship is partial uh, partial tuition fee waiver. Yes. So the, the recap is uh, the kind of scholarship that is offered by Diaz is a partial scholarship. Yeah. And any student can also obtain other scholarship uh, from other uh, governments or private institution and combine it with uh, Diaz scholarship. Yeah. That's correct. Thank you for your answer. Now, next question. Uh, if somebody would like to uh, get master degree in the yeah. do they need to have like a um, working experience? And if it is uh, needed, then what kind of requirements of this uh, working experience that need to be submitted? Is it a uh, job? Okay, I'm going recommendation? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, is it a job certificate or recommendation letter from previous company or something? Uh, we will ask for the to reference later, but uh, that's not necessary for your work. So for example, for our MSCBA program, uh, work experience is not required here for our MSCBA program. So if you are a fresh graduate, welcome to apply for our MSCBA. And your reference um, later can come from your um, professors or lecturers that who to who teach you before. Yeah. But uh, for MBA, it requires you like at least three years of work experience. So that depends what kind of program that you want to apply for. So at least three year work experience. Uh, is it um, if we would like to take for example, for example, MBA program, mm -hmm. we need to have a same or related field for our bachelor degree. So for example, uh, we not really. technical, but we would not like really. To... Yeah, not really, for example, okay. yeah, some of our MBA students, they probably study in science before, but after a few years of work experience, they will probably already like um, be a engineer for like mm -hmm. three or five years. And then at that time, they decide to, uh, to, to study further about management. Then they choose TS MBA. And then yes, of course they can, um, they can apply for, and then yes, they are study at TS right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very well noted. Uh, for the next question. Uh, does TS uh, have a kind of 
career center to help uh, graduated students from TS in order to get more jobs. Is it only guidance or will any companies like look for uh, the alumni of TS in order to get the job? In yeah, I think uh, that's from our career development. I think that's from our, there's a department to to give the support and also the guidance through about the career development for our students. So they are career consultants and also our alumni. So we also have alumni mentor mentor work uh, program. So most uh, quite often our uh, director of alumni center, they will host alumni event and we highly encourage our students, our current students to go to event. And at that event, you will see um, our alumni who are willing to help, they will have a sticker. So you can always go to them and then to ask for any suggestion or recommendation or any info about their company if you want to work there. So it's quite uh, really useful or very, I would say very important for students who want to start the network for in, T, in, in Netherlands, you can start from TS. Okay. So uh, if, because it is for international students, yeah. do we need to obtain a working visa first or do we directly get it when we uh, attend the master program in TS? So after, right after we graduated, so we can directly look for job in the Netherlands, or do we need to obtain another uh, working visa in order to get a job? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, when you study at TS, firstly, uh, once you submit, once you are accepted, once you enrolled at TS, then we will apply for the student visa for you, but actually we will uh, submit the, all your application, visa application to uh, Ian Day the um, immigration office in the Netherlands. So we will uh, help you to go through the visa application for the student visa. But after you graduate, for example, here, I mentioned the uh, orientation year visa here. After you graduate, you need to go to the END, the immigration office in the Netherlands um, by yourself, and then to apply for that kind of visa by yourself. So for that visa, you can stay there uh, for one month. And then you, most of our graduates use this kind of visa to find a job. For one month or is it for one year? Uh, this visa is for one year. So oh. most for, uh, for example, uh, our graduation ceremony will in December. So for example, one of our graduates, they start their orientation year visa from January, the job probably in February, then he, he or she will use this kind of visa until end of that year in December. Then afterward, if the company are willing to continue the count work contract, then the company will apply for working job for them. Okay, Is so that clear? After, yes, yes. Uh, so after we graduated, we have a chance to get uh, our orientation visa, yeah. orientation year visa, and it will yeah. exist for one year. And yeah. after, for example, we get the job, after yeah. that we can continue to get the working visas to stay longer in the Netherlands. Am I yeah, correct? that's correct. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for your explanations. For next questions, uh, currently we are in the pandemic situation. Maybe you have mentioned earlier. Um, mm -hmm. May we know uh, how does it work for TS during the pandemic situation? Do, do you uh, still have uh, offline meetings or is it full online meetings? And how about the next year intake? Uh, is there any possibility that the classes will happen only online or also offline? Or what, how, how uh, the uh, university tried to offer on this issue? Okay, uh, very good question. Yes, we are on the least pandemic situation. Um, at TS, uh, when, when the pandemic starts, yes, we change to online course. When in, I think it's in May, April or May somewhere. And then the course finished in, in June. 
So when the new intake starts in September, you can see we keep the um, offline class. The I think you can see the picture, right? So we try to change the facilities at TS and then to make sure that everyone have like 1.5 meters social distance uh, in, indoor. And then we deliver the, the classroom learning experience, that's for sure. So I think, I do believe that in the following um, months, uh, the pandemic situation will be will be better, that's for sure, I think. But at TS, we definitely will keep this kind of um, setup for the classroom learning. And if the students, if any students, they they think it's too dangerous to go to the classroom, they can also choose to um, to stay at their dorm to do the online learning. But but I, uh, we normally suggest that I think uh, I think because you pay this quite a lot of money, you probably it's quite important to have um, networking, the lo local networking or the connection. I think that's quite important to have face-to-face -face, uh, interaction in order to get a very good networking skill. And that's why we, we insist this classroom learning. That's a very good reason yeah. to attend classes to get new networking yeah. and also to get new friends because you, you are yeah. studying also to get some friends and to get um, more knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we do hope that uh, pandemic will be over so there is no need to have like uh, online classes so everything will be back to yeah normal. i think uh, for tf we try to offer like both but uh, we prefer we prefer for classroom learning very well noted yeah okay to all webinar participants uh, do not forget you can also submit more questions or ask more regarding uh, scholarship or, or how to enter TS directly uh, during our filter fail, which is happening right now at event.ehf.id. So please, uh, if you have any more questions, you can just simply go there and ask uh, more questions to TS representative. Okay, Alpha, thank you very much yeah. for your time and uh, very brightful uh, presentations regarding uh, uh, yes, uh, school Thank for you. business, mm -hmm. and we do hope uh, more international students from Indonesia will come and join your university. Yeah, and yeah. please uh, stay healthy and stay safe there because yeah, yeah pandemic is not over yet, and we do hope that. I, hope, I really do hope I can you again. fly to Jakarta. Yeah, you again. yeah. yeah. <laughs> hopefully yeah. next year you can visit yeah, us probably. or we can visit you there in the Netherlands. Okay, thank yeah, you very good. much, Alpha. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, bye-bye. You too.